Hi everyone and welcome to the studio today. I've been playing with foils and I wanted to show you a few different things that you can do with foils and polymer clay. So this is just really basic stuff. So I've, sorry, I've just got some examples here um, on my table. This is just your basic foil burnished onto polymer clay. Now I have just done a video on that so you can find that and see how I do it. I'm going to show you some stripes, a nice kind of foily crackle and a bit of a mishmash. So let's just grab our clay and grab our foil. And the first one I'm going to do is a really easy one. I'm not going to show you the entire piece. I'm just going to show you a few little steps and you'll get it. So I am just going to cut up some pieces of foil and I'm going to um, just, you know, make a few different shaped bits. Now, if you had fancy scissors to cut beautiful scalloped edges on yours, you could do that. Mine are just straight. So I'm simply going to have straight edges. There is no limit to what you can do here. So this is, uh, I'm going to be happy with this amount. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to press this down and I need to leave a tail. Very important to leave the tail. Okay, we'll go across this way. So this nice one that has a, a bit of a... Um, triangle shape on the end of it will just go nicely sitting in the middle as will this one and then I'll just pop this one right on the end so you get the idea all right it's important to cover this one over because we have raw clay showing through as well so I find it's a lot easier to cover it over just give everything give everything a little bit of a burnish down and then burnish away so that your foils are going to transfer to the surface. Um, yes, yeah, so very important to remember in this one to leave that little tail so it's nice and easy to remove the foils from the surface of the clay. Okay, we'll take that one up and let's just grab it and rip like a band-aid. And you can see it, <laughs> it's wanting to stick to my hands. I'm just gonna let it stick. So I've got some pieces here that haven't transferred well. I can go back and go over it and try and retransfer. I'm not gonna worry at this point in time. So let's just pull that one up and you can see how gorgeous you can get a beautiful sheet of clay just by cutting your foils into certain shapes, you know, different um, scalloped edges, as I mentioned, etc. So that's one nice, easy way that you can get a different look on your clay. The next way, I'm just going to cut this piece in half, actually, because I've got a couple more I wanted to show you. So I have a foil here, copper foil. I'm just going to scrunch, scrunch it in my hands so that it's nice and crinkly and then it's a matter of just popping that down onto my clay and this is why I love this burnishing tool because it's just so nice and easy this is my favorite over all of them so I'm just going to give a nice burnish so I'm going to end up with a nice crinkled look on my clay and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. All right, that should be enough rip. And again, I can see some other pieces didn't transfer properly. I'm actually not going to worry about that because I really love, it might actually be better on a flat surface. I love the way you get that gorgeous kind of crackled look and little bits of clay here and there. So that's a really, really easy way of getting a different look, exactly the same foil, but a different look altogether. So that's our lovely crackled one. 
And then the next one I'm going to do is simply just a mishmash. So I'm going to just get a bit of foil like this. Oops. And I'm just going to burnish a little bit on the surface where my finger is. Let's do a little bit with the purple here. And you see, I'm actually not burnishing too much. I'm just getting little bits and pieces. Oops. Kind of a bit rough, this one. But you're getting the picture. I know you are. Okay, so we're just... I'm trying to avoid straight lines as well here. Just getting some nice pieces on here. And again, remember I'm just burnishing bits and pieces in one spot. So I'm just going to leave it at that because I know you understand what I'm talking about. And I can fill this up as much or as little as what I want. So uh, a variation on this one, I could do this on white clay and then add pan pastels to cover color the surface of my clay. So that would actually be quite nice as well. There are lots and lots of other variations just on these few little techniques that I've done here. You could of course put your stripes onto white clay, different colored clay. You know, I could maybe go and try and add a different uh, color of foil into these areas. In actual fact, let's just quickly do it. <laughs> I like doing this sort of thing like oh what happens if I do that let's try it this way remember I'm covering my clay to protect it burnishing over with this one it might not work but you never know it might work and it has ever so slightly which is quite lovely so you can see I've got some little bits of green in there which is quite nice. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that quick video today and I would love to see you play around with some variations on this yourself. So thanks for joining me today. Bye for now.